Thank you for tuning in to the second update of the Jones Fort Beals Bridge Construction Project. If you enjoyed these updates, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel, Ailey B. Life. Here you see the groundwork being done prior to the blasting, which you'll see later in this video. Above these columns, you see the pier caps. On top of the pier caps will be the bridge beams. The bridge beams will arrive by barge at the beginning of August with the second load arriving in September. Many have asked if the new bridge will have a sidewalk. The biggest reason there will not be a sidewalk is due to cost. A sidewalk would have required an additional engineering cost and substantial physical costs which would include making the roadway wider, widening the causeway which would then require more riprap which is the ledge you see, and if additional bridge beams were, are needed, it would be at least another 500000 just for the beams. The four beams arriving for this project will be coming by barge in two shipments and cost approximately $2.1 million. So while a sidewalk is not included, the new bridge will be a lot wider than the current bridge. The current bridge is 22 feet curb to curb, which allows for two 10-foot lanes and only one foot on either side of the roadway. The new bridge will be 6 feet wider at 28 feet curb to curb. This will allow for two 10-foot lanes and now there will be a 4-foot shoulder on both sides of the road. For safety, lights mark the open channel under the old bridge as well as the construction walkway. Here you'll see the blasting area being prepared. Coastal drilling and blasting from Ellsworth, Maine will be doing the blasting for this project. They'll use a controlled blast between eight and nine feet. The blasting is being done so the electrical vaults can be installed. First, the holes are drilled and the dynamite and cap are placed with the blasting agent above it and finally P stones are added. Once the holes are prepared, the blasting mats are moved on top for protection and we're ready for the blast. Following the blast, the whistle is sounded to indicate that the blasting is complete. Thank you to CMP, Desenzo, the Maine DOT, and Coastal Drilling and Blasting for your help with this project. I'd like to give a special thank you to Phil Roberts from the Maine DOT and Dan Vino from CMP for going the extra mile to help me with this project. If you have any questions about the bridge project, please comment below and I will do my best to answer them in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. My next video will be coming soon. If you enjoyed these updates and would like to support my channel, please like this video and subscribe to A Libby Life using this link.